Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah, this is Analog Resurgence, and today I'm taking a look at JCH Street Pan 400 black and white 35 millimeter film. So this is JCH Street Pan 400 35 millimeter black and white. JCH stands for Japan Camera Hunter. And Japan Camera Hunter is a company started by a man named Bellamy Hunt. So Bellamy Hunt lives in Japan and he specializes in finding and restoring and selling old cameras and different film related gear. And within the past number of years, he started selling some of his own branded products as well, including JCH 400 film. So this film was introduced in 2016 in 35 millimeter initially and 120 medium format followed shortly after. And it's technically a new film. See, Hunt wanted to get a new film into production, especially around that kind of time when things like Fujifilm's Across black and white were being discontinued. Although Across is actually being reintroduced by Fuji this year. So Hunt wanted to release a black and white 35 millimeter high contrast 400 ISO film himself. But Japan Camera Hunter is just kind of a small business and project that Bellamy Hunt started. So he's not a factory and he's not like a large large corporation that has the ability to remanufacture emulsion and do full-on film manufacturing himself. Unlike companies like Fuji and Kodak and Ferrania, which I recently spoke about. But he did have the resources and the connections in place to be able to get a discontinued film emulsion put back into production by people that did have the ability to manufacture this sort of thing. So he found an old discontinued film stock made by the manufacturer Agfa that was actually old black and white surveillance film. Surveillance film of course being used in like security situations and just more specialized cameras that were taking images that usually had high contrast stuff like this before surveillance kind of got replaced by just video surveillance technology. But Hunt used his resources in order to successfully get that film stock previously made by Agfa put back into production so that he could start selling it as JCH 400 himself. So this is new product of an old film. It's not old film that he's found and re-spooled into small canisters and then sold, but it's not necessarily like a completely brand new film that's never existed before either. New production of an old film. So I'd never gotten around to shooting this stuff before even though it has been out for a few years now. So I finally picked up a roll of it in 35 millimeter and shot it through my Canon SLR here a few weeks ago. The main characteristic of this film is its high contrast. So it has really intense shadows and highlight areas in your images. It has pretty decent grain overall for a 400 ISO, but I've definitely seen some smoother grain for black and white stuff in that same speed before. But this stuff is designed to be used in a variety of lighting situations, usually just throughout the day and you can kind of get away with playing around with it in lower light and in like full midday lighting as well when it's really bright outside. But be prepared to kind of choose what you're exposing for because you can easily lose details on some of this stuff, especially if you miss your exposure completely. But I did find that there is a lot of information still on the negatives just by looking at it. And so it can kind of really depend on getting a really good scan of this stuff. But overall, I really, really do like the intense contrast on a lot of these shots. I was also shooting this stuff during a period where there was a lot Lot of snow in the city. Now for snowy scenes you have to kind of be careful with using your light meter in your camera because there's so much snow and there's sunlight reflecting off of the snow on the ground. It can easily kind of throw your light meter off when it's trying to kind of meter for the whole scene overall. So for snowy scenes I set my light meter for one stop over exposure. When it's really bright from the snow the meter will see everything as kind of a big highlight instead of it actually being part of the whole scene. A normal meter reading would end up underexposing things so it is still a little tricky with this stuff because of the high contrast when shooting really snowy scenes but I'm really happy with some of these shots as well but this really does give you kind of a really good example of the quick fall off from shadow to highlight because there's not like a lot of information in between for a variety of tones this film specifically though does have a little more red sensitivity to it different color sensitivity or different colored filters that you utilize when shooting black and white can change change the amount of tones and contrast and just how your images look overall. But that added red sensitivity definitely adds to the overall contrast of the film and reduces the kind of range of tones that you get when you're shooting. Overall, the images that I got back with this stuff 
just looks sharp and crisp. Like my own personal opinion of this film is that it is really nice if you shoot it pretty well. So in comparison, if we look at it besides some shots of Tri-X, which I've previously looked at on the channel as well, you can see that Tri-X has much, much less intense contrast to it. And there's definitely a wider range of like tones across the image from blacks and grays and then the whites, which just kind of allow for like a wider range of detail when you're shooting with something like Tri-X. And Tri-X and JCH both have a 400 ISO, but I do find that my shots with Tri-X are smoother and just look to have finer grain overall in comparison to the JCH stuff. So yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with some of this stuff. And there were just a lot of shots on this roll that when I got them back from the lab, I was just really excited with. And of course, with black and white film, you can get different results with this stuff if you're developing it yourself and using different types of black and white developers at home. I didn't develop this stuff myself. This came from a lab and it was developed at the lab using ID11 developer. But there's information on JCH's website about different developers and the different characteristics that you can get with this film, with different developers. This stuff was also shot in an SLR as I mentioned. Now the canisters for this film is DX coded which means that you can put it into an automatic point and shoot camera and it will automatically register the ISO of 400. But I would definitely say this stuff maybe benefits from using manual exposure because of the contrast and you can kind of decide exactly what you want to expose for when you're shooting your images. So it's maybe not something that I would really want to put into like a point and shoot camera. Now, if you want to see more examples off of this role, then you can head over and check out the Patreon for Analog Resurgence and consider supporting the channel as well and it's also really important to note that like Japan Camera Hunter and this film and just all the stuff that he does it's definitely like a labor of love and being able to like put his time and his money into getting this film out there and available to people to shoot as just another option for black and white is definitely like a big personal project. So it definitely is a higher priced film than other black and white stuff that's out there. But this stuff can only kind of exist and continue to exist and even maybe become cheaper in the long run if more and more people support it. So I'm very pro this sort of thing where he has put this together and it's available and you can go out and buy a roll or order a roll. And this stuff is available in 35 millimeter, 120 medium format, and also in single use disposable cameras as well. So definitely if you love like a high contrast, but also easy to shoot kind of film because it has a nice medium speed to it and you can kind of use it in just a variety of lighting situations pretty easily, then I would definitely recommend shooting some of this stuff, but also in general, just kind of supporting this sort of thing as well if you have the ability to do so. Hey, thank you guys guys so much for watching and checking this out and I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you're inspired to shoot more film this year and experiment with a wider variety of films if you haven't done so in the past. And if there's specific films that you want to see in the future then you can comment down below on these videos and let me know on what you guys want to see for film or for just any sort of different bigger topics as well. And of course I would love to know your own personal experiences with JCH and just kind of what your own thoughts and experiences are with this sort of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.